Hey, I'm Lizzie McAvoy. When I'm not writing songs, performing live, or producing in the studio, I'm the girl in the apron. Hey, I'm Lizzie McAvoy and the girl in the apron. So my great grandparents came here from Italy and they settled in Columbus, Ohio. My mom has some incredible memories of my great grandparents. One of her favorites to tell is when she was a little girl, she would come over to her grandma's house and laying out on the kitchen counter would be all of this fresh homemade pasta drying on newspaper. And I've been lucky enough to have my own similar memories with my grandparents of making fresh pasta. So I've had a lot of people ask me, is it really hard to make? And I say, absolutely not. You probably already have the ingredients in your kitchen right now. All you're gonna need is a pasta maker. So why should I go get a pasta maker? Well, warning folks, once you have fresh homemade pasta, you'll be addicted. So you might as well just go buy one right now. My favorite is my tried and true hand crank pasta maker right here. Ta-da! Um, she's over 10 years old. We've been through a lot of pasta meals together, um, but I've put a link in my blog with all these great options that you can check out. And as always with the girl on the apron, it is so quick, it's so easy, and here's how you do it. So when I learned how to make pasta, I learned how to make it tabletop style. And so what you do is you have a flat surface, you put all of your flour, then you make a little bit of volcano in the center, you put your eggs, your olive oil, your water, and then you do it all by hand. Well, since at The Girl in the Apron, we are all about quick and easy, we will be using this beautiful stand mixer. So right now I have five cups of unbleached all-purpose flour. I'm gonna turn the mixer on and I'm gonna just work it a little bit for like a minute maybe and just kind of get all the clumps out of the flour. So while that is happening, I'm going to take my seven beautiful eggs that I have here, cracked, ta-da, and I'm going to scramble them a little bit. Perfect. Then I'm gonna take some good quality olive oil and I'm gonna put a tablespoon in here. I am going to put my egg mixture in with my flour. I'm gonna turn this on a low speed and I'm gonna gradually add the egg mixture in. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the speed. And then sometimes you're gonna to need to scrape down the sides to get the flour in. So depending on your flour that day, sometimes it might be a little dry and that's okay. Um, so you might have a little bit of this sort of mealy consistency in um, the bottom of your mixer. Don't have any fear about that. Just um, add a couple tablespoons of water um, until you get that nice dough consistency. So just lightly flour a flat surface. And we're just gonna pull our dough out. So here comes the point where you are going to have to work your muscles. Have no fear. Um, it is going to make just the softest, most wonderful pasta you've ever had. You are going to need this for five minutes. You can do it, I promise. And there you have perfect pasta dough.
Find this recipe and so much more at www.lizzymacavoy.com. And let's get social.